Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Devin Nunes just risked everything to say something to Laura that'll take down the FBI. The deep state is out of control and they need to be stopped ASAP. Laura Ingram launched the very first episode of The Ingram Angle on Fox News. Rep. Nunes told Laura Ingram that James Comey and the entire FBI brass might be lying to Congress about who funded the anti-Trump dossier. Rep. Devin Nunes said, If people really believe that the FBI who paid for that dossier I've got a bridge to sell you. There is no possible way that the FBI did not know who paid for that dossier. Laura Ingram, So who's lying at the FBI? Rep. Nunes, We don't really know. Is it just Comey or is it the whole FBI? Laura Ingram, What you're saying about the FBI there, that's quite a charge. Rep. Nunes, Absolutely. This is the government out of control. It's not okay for us to ask since March who paid for the dossier? What did you use the dossier for? And it comes out only because of subpoenas to the bank, the bank was going to have to produce the subpoenas that, then they cut a deal. Share this if you don't trust the FBI anymore. What the heck? They have ruined their reputation in the protection of Hillary Clinton. Harvey Weinstein's ludicrous reason for sex abuse just confirmed he's sick in the head. Harvey Weinstein reportedly told friends that his sex abuse scandal happened so he could change the world, according to Page Six. One Hollywood insider said Weinstein believes he is a savior. Weinstein went on to say that he was born to take the fall for his behavior in order to change the world. He is resigned to his punishment, as a martyr for social change, according to the source. Upwards of 80 women have come forward to accuse Weinstein of sexual misbehavior after the story initially broke in the New York Times in early October. One of his rape victims, actress Asia Argento, tweeted a list of his victims earlier this week. She said in the tweet that we, the victims, have compiled this list. Another victim, Rose McGowan, suggested in a tweet Monday that there was a warrant out for her arrest in Virginia because she did not accept $1 million to sign a non-disclosure after he raped her in 1997. Reports of Weinstein's misbehavior apparently date back as far as the 1970s. A rep has said on behalf of Weinstein that any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied by Mr. Weinstein. The former Hollywood producer has reportedly checked into rehab for sex addiction in Europe. American people overrule Bob Mueller, give President Trump best news of his life. While the whole Washington, D.C. establishment and the media complex was in a frenzy over the Manafort charges, they missed the real story. The good news they will not report. Because it goes counter to their anti-Trump narrative. But we are not beholden to the anti-Trump forces so we will report the truth. And the truth, according to the AP, is great news for President Trump and even better news for the American people. According to a spectacular report from the conference board, American consumers are the most confident in the economy they've been in nearly 17 years. This is big and shows that Trump's economic agenda is working. And you just know it kills the Democrats to admit it, but the numbers did not lie. The conference board is a trusted group made up of the nation's top business executives. From their website. Because we are independent, nonpartisan, and nonprofit our work is trusted. If you learned it at the conference board you can count on it. Correct and they just released some great numbers for Trump and America. Their Consumer Confidence Index hit 125.9 in October, up from 120.6 in September. This is the highest number they have tracked since December 2000. They get their number through measuring current economic conditions as well as what their membership sees coming for the next half year. 
and all signs point to an economic boom the likes of which America hasn't seen in a long, long time. Additionally, unemployment is at 4.2% marking a 16-year low 4.2. The reason economists watch consumer confidence so closely is that consumer spending is the main driver of the economy. This new number suggests the economy will continue expanding at a solid pace for the remainder of the year, conference board economist Lynn Franco said striking fear in the Democrats' chances to gain ground in the 2018 elections. Because America always votes on the economy first. If it is not doing well there is nothing that can save a candidate. Conversely, if the economy is booming there is almost nothing that can hurt a politician. Share if you agree. Halloween horror Roger Goodell blindsided by the damning news he got today. The NFL's Monday night ratings are officially in and they are a total and complete disaster. It is a pattern that by now not even the most ardent supporter of Roger Goodell or the Andy Flag players can ignore. Or they can at their own peril. As Goodell just found out the other day from NFL owners like Jerry Jones, who are holding off extending his contract until he can figure out a solution. There is one, make the players stand and respect the flag. A simple rule will do it and the NFL has more rules than any professional sports league. But they, and this means you Roger Goodell, are letting the inmates run the asylum. I don't care if you run a billion dollar business or a daycare center for toddlers, once the inmates take control you are doomed. It is simple arithmetic. According to Deadline, Last night's game between two good teams vying for a spot in the playoffs was a disaster. It got just a 7.2 in metered market results, down 9% from last week's game which featured the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Redskins. This is bad. ESPN is already hemorrhaging subscribers and is actually thinking of walking away from their contract to air Monday night games. This game was not the season low for Monday night football that honor goes to the Titans and the Colts game, but is very close to it and as the owners know it is officially time to panic. Or sell their teams. H.T. Breitbart John Kelly comes forward, wipes smirk off Hillary Clinton's face and strikes fear in Will's heart. White House Chief of Staff John Kelly just struck fear in the heart of Hillary and Bill Clinton and America is sharing. Look, the rampant corruption that is the Hillary Clinton needs to end. She can't get away with everything while sitting back with that horrendous smirk on her face. She thinks she is so untouchable that she does not believe she will be held accountable for the shady Russian nuke deal or the even shadier Russia dossier scandal. Enough is enough and finally we have someone willing to step forward and say it. And because who the man is this is serious. General John Kelly is a man with unimpeachable credentials and a seat of power. So get ready Hillary because what he just said will most probably happen and happen soon. In an interview on Fox News's new shot The Ingram Angle, Kelly said it is time to appoint a special counsel to get to the bottom of Hillary's many crimes specifically the Russian nuke deal and the funding of the dodgy dossier. He spoke eloquently about Americans' right to know what the U.S. government is doing on any given day. And then he called for an independent and special investigation into Clinton saying that an objective investigator is necessary to look into accusations against Clinton and the Democrats. Correct. One of the strengths I have in looking at issues in my job, I think probably as a layman looking at this kind of thing, we need to find someone who's very, very objective, who can get to the bottom of these accusations. I think it's important. Again, the American people have an absolute right to know these things," Kelly added. Yes we do and while the wheels of justice may move slowly, with guys like Kelly at the helm at least they are finally moving. Share if you agree. Pat Robertson discovers easy way to knock Mueller off his broom and end witch hunt once and for all. 
televangelist Pat Robertson went on his 700 Club and offered a simple yet brilliant solution to Bob Mueller's witch hunt before it gets out of hand. Look, this is all politics. The establishment is fighting back hard against the changes Trump is making. Sure Manafort, like all lobbyists, may have played fast and loose with cash and disclosure requirements but so did Tony Podesta. So until Mueller charges him, I remain unconvinced this is not a political hit job. Time will tell. Now, to Pat's brilliant solution. This is well within Trump's rights as president and for an added bonus it will make the liberals howl with rage. He said Trump should just simply shut down Mueller and issue pardons to everyone involved. He has every right to shut Mueller down and say, you've gone as far as you need to, and I have instructed my Justice Department to close you down, he said according to the Huffington Post. Robertson went on to point out correctly that Mueller's investigation has been compromised and has been has been tainted by the two bombshells about Clinton. That the DNC and Hillary helped fund the dossier that is behind the whole thing and her shady Russia nuke deal. Robertson elaborated. Trump can grant a pardon to everybody involved in this thing if he wants to. This whole thing has got to be shut down, he can grant a blanket pardon for everybody involved in everything and say, I pardon them all, it's all over, case closed, I think that is what he needs to do, he's got to shut this thing down, he's just got to.